Smokers are the first to tell you how hooked they are. I just know that it's hard. I just haven't tried because I know that it's hard and when I'm ready to quit, I'll try to quit. I realize that it's unhealthy, but it is a very hard habit to quit. The addiction has even been compared to heroin, but heroin and nicotine affect the brain's pleasure center in completely different ways. So when scientists found a portion of the brain's pleasure center responding to both nicotine and a heroin-like drug in the same way, the results were unexpected. We were a little surprised to see an effect that was so similar between these two different classes of drugs. Neuroscientist Dan McGee and his team monitored rat brain cells' response to both drugs. They wrote in the Journal of Neuroscience that in a particular brain region important in addiction, both drugs caused hypersensitivity to the brain's pleasure chemical dopamine, which can greatly enhance feelings of reward. We use levels of the drugs that, that would normally be um, in the system in an individual that was using the drugs, and we see an effect that's identical. That argues that the strength is, is the same. It certainly supports the idea that nicotine is, uh, is a very strongly addictive substance. McGee cautions the jury is still out on whether smoking is as addictive as heroin, but he hopes the research will lead to new treatments that interfere with the rewards of harmful drugs while not affecting the rewarding effects of healthy habits. I'm Sunita Reed.